<laughs> Speculation time. Okay, so season one's over. Kang's dead. The closed loop has been created. Kang will return to become he who remains at the end of time, ruling over everything again. But where did Renslayer go? And the answer to that has everything to do with the series. So Renslayer discovers that the timekeepers are fake. However, she still feels as though the TVA's purpose in existing is important. As a result, she wants to maintain the balance and maintain the secret, allow the TVA to continue doing its purpose. She asks for information from Miss Minutes, and man, Miss Minutes is way more villainous than we originally thought. But she asks for information from Miss Minutes about the person at the end of time because he may be in danger. Miss Minutes leaves, speaks with Kang, comes back, gives her information, not the information she was asking for, but new information in general. Renslayer has her conversation with Mobius. She takes her pruning rod, walks through the door. She's gone. Where did she go? Easy. She went to go speak with the version of Kang who's going to win. Renslayer's purpose now is to ensure that the person who's running the TVA, who set the TVA in motion, her purpose now is to ensure that that person is safe. Her purpose now is to set that person on his path. She's going to go and find whatever variant and whatever multiverse, whatever universe, that Kang who wins, wherever he is, Renslayer is going to go and find him. And she's going to let him know about everything, especially about Eliath, so that when the multiversal war starts, he can kill everyone. And he ends up right back where he was initially, where Sylvie is right now. It's so good. Because not only does Kang ensure his existence, not only does he ensure, because he can take the long path, which is the long path is this Kang works with other Kangs, betters, betters the universe. The evil Kangs show up, they all fight, and at some point in time, in the middle of this multiversal, multi-time stream war, Kang discovers Eliath, then he uses Eliath to kill basically everyone, or the Kang who wins gets the information about Eliath sooner. And as a direct result, as soon as the war starts, he wipes out everyone. And he ends up exactly where he needs to be sooner. And I love it. it it's perfect because not only does it put Renslayer on the path to become Kang's girl like she is in the comics, but he also ensures that no matter what, whether Renslayer fails or whether Sylvie chose to kill him, or whether Mobius changed the TVA, or whether Loki messes up his plans. No matter what happens, he always, he either ends up at the end of time ruling sooner, or he ends up at the end of time ruling on time. But he is a Kang who always wins, and he is a Kang who will always rule. <laughs>